class. A little later, we're gonna have a special guest come to class with us today, but first we're gonna talk about two-digit numbers. Now, we know that two-digit numbers are made up of tens and made up of ones. So, I'm gonna pick one, I'm gonna say 16, okay? And now we're gonna use our little place value chart. And we have some tens. And we have ones. So looking at 16, we have one ten, and we have six ones. So if I was to use our little base ten six, we have one ten, and then we have six ones. All right, six little pieces. Now, Cecilia, what is another two-digit number? Eleven. Mm, okay, good. Eleven. So now I'm going to have you come up, and you're going to fill in our place value chart with the tens and with the ones, and then you're going to put the blocks up as well. Um, one. Mm -hmm. one, one. Nice job. Good job. Now, Alicia, what's another two-digit number? Hmm. 23. Nice job. Okay. 23. So you're going to do the same thing. Come fill in the place value chart and put up the base 10 sticks. Two and three. Nice job. 2, 3. Abby, your turn. What's another two-digit number? 42. 42. Nice job. Same thing for you. Fill in the place value chart and put the sticks up. to the store and we bought a bunch of candy bars. So we'll say that these are candy bars. And over here we have carrots. Because you know, we'll be healthy. All right. So we're going to split. We have one big pile of candy bars and we have one big pile of carrots and we're going to split them into two groups. So we have one group of candy bars that's 16, one group that's 11, one group that's 23 of carrots and one group of 42 carrots. Now it's time for our little friend to make an appearance. This is Andy the alligator, okay? And Andy loves candy bars and he loves carrots. All right, so if we were to give Andy the choice to pick between 16 candy bars and 11 candy bars, and he loves candy bars, do you think he'd want the one with more candy bars or less candy bars? More. More, good. So now let's figure out how to decide that. So we're gonna look at our tens and we're gonna look at our tens, all right? So tens of 16, how many are there? One. One. What about 11? One. They're the same. So now we're going to move over to our ones. So how many ones are in 16, Abby? Six. Cecilia, how many ones are in 11? Uh, one. Now which one's bigger, at least? Just six or one? Six. Good job. So that means 16 is bigger than 11. So Andy the alligator, oh, if he stays, he may not stay, is going to eat 16. He wants to eat the bigger number. All right, so now we're going to move over to our carrots. And remember, Andy really likes carrots. So if he is going to eat one of these piles, does he want to eat the smaller pile or the larger pile? The larger. the larger pile. Good. So we're going to look again at our tens and our ones. So Cecilia, how many tens are in 23? Two. How many tens are in 42? Four. Nice job. So Alicia, are those different or the same? Numbers. They're different. So we can use our tens to help us decide which one's bigger. So Abby, which one's bigger? Two or four? Four. And does Andy want to eat more carrots or less carrots? More. He wants to eat more carrots, so he's going to eat 42. Okay. So when we read our sentences, left or right, just like when we read books, we say that 16 is greater than 11, and we say that 23 is less than 42. You guys say it together. 16 is greater than 11. 
23 is less than 42. Nice job. Now, what if I had six candy bars and six candy bars? Are these the same? Or is one bigger? Is one smaller? What is this? Or what numbers are those there? The same. So we would put an equal sign in between them. All right, because numbers can be equal. All right, so now it is your guys' turn to do a little activity. All right, so you're going to do a dice activity. So what you're going to do is in your groups at your table, you're going to take turns rolling the dice four times. Okay, you're each going to create two two-digit numbers. All right, so the first time you roll, you're going to write that number in the tens place. Okay, so if I roll five, I'd write it in the tens in the tens place on our place value chart. Then I'm going to roll again, and that number is going to go in the ones place in our place value chart. And then you're going to write the number right above on the line. And you're going to do it all again. So you're going to roll, and the first number you roll is going to go in the tens place, and then you're going to roll again, and that number is going to go in the ones place. Okay? And then you're going to give the dice to the next person. So you're each going to get to roll four times and create two numbers. You want to make sure that you're writing everyone's number down. So you should have six numbers at the end of the game. After you have all your numbers filled in, you're going to compare. So you're going to fill in the circle with which Andy the Alligator is correct. So you want to remember that Andy the Alligator eats the bigger number. Okay? So if the bigger number is on this side, his mouth is going to open towards it. If it's on this side, his mouth is going to open that way. And remember, you could have equal numbers just like our six is, and you would put the equal sign. Okay? Does everyone understand? Does anyone have any questions? No? All right. So... Here's your papers, and here's the dice. Abby, you can start. All right, a three. Good job. The tens place. Good job. Remember, everyone's writing the number down. And then you want to write the number at the top of your box so you know what number it is. So Abby has a 33 and a 32. All right, Alicia, your turn. A six. Good. It's going to go in the tens place. And a three. All right. So that number is 63. And we have a one. And a one. All right. Cecilia's turn. We have a four. And a six. Then we have a four, and a five. Nice job. All right, so work together with your group and try to decide which Andy the Alligator you're going to use, and then we'll go over it together. Remember, you can use your breakdowns of your tens and your ones if it helps. The tens are the same, and... Three is bigger than two. Nice yeah, job. Nice. Okay. So he wants to eat this, the big one. I like the teeth. Um, this one has six. Mm-hmm. And this one has one, so this one's bigger. On this one, they are all fours in the tens place, but the ones place is a six, and in the other ones place, they are a six. six is a five. Well done. Good job. All right, so now we will go over it together. So, let's see. Abby, what were the numbers that you rolled? 33 and 32. Oopsie. 33 and 32. Okay. All right, so how many tens does 33 have? Three. Good. How many tens does 32 have? Three. So, can we use our tens to decide which one's bigger? No. Nope. we got to use our ones. So, how many ones are in 33? Three. How many ones are in 32? Two. Good. So, which one's bigger? 33. So, Andy the alligator is going which way? Come up and draw it. Nice job.
job. All right, Alicia, what numbers did you have? 63 and 11. 63 and 11. All right, so how many tens are in 63? Six. Six. Good job. How about in 11? One. One. So can we use the tens to decide? Yes. Good job. So is six bigger or is one bigger? Six. Six. Come up and draw which way Andy's going. Nice job. All right, Cecilia, what numbers did you draw? Uh, 46. Okay. And um, 45. And 45. Okay, so how many tens are in 46? Four. Four. How about in 45? Four. So can we use our tens or do we have to move to our ones? Uh, we need to move. Good. So how many ones are in uh, 46? Six. How many ones are in 45? Five. So which way is Andy going to go? Um, he's going to eat 46. Good job. All right, so now I'll play. I'm going to roll the dice. Let's see which numbers I roll. So I rolled, my first number is a five. So is that going to be in my tens or my ones? Tens. Good. All right, so my next number. I roll a two. So I have 52 as my first number. And then I rolled another five. And then I rolled a one. All right. Cecilia, how many tens are in 52? Five. Uh, Alicia, how many tens are in 51? Five. All right, Abby, can we use the tens or do we have to move to the ones? We have to move to the ones. Move to the ones. Okay, so which one's bigger, two or one? Two. Two. So which way is Andy going to go, this way or this way? Towards Top or bottom? Two. Towards the 52 because Andy likes to eat the bigger numbers. Nice job. Okay, so now we're just going to review what we learned one last time. So I am going to ask... Cecilia to come up and create a greater than sentence. So greater than uses Andy this way, okay? So come up and choose two numbers that are greater than. So which one is going to go on that side? Which one's going to go on the other side of Andy? Mm -hmm. Remember, two digit numbers. 25. 25. So Andy's eating 25, which means 25 is the bigger number. Um, 10? 10. Nice job. So 25 is bigger than 10. Good job. All right, so now I'm going to have Abby come up, and we're going to do Andy the alligator as an equal sign. So what two numbers can you come write which would make the equal sign correct? 23. And 23. Nice job. All right, Alicia, your turn. You're going to come up and you're going to pick two numbers that go with Andy the alligator being less than. So remember, he eats the bigger number, 12, and 63. Nice job. So now you guys remember and can use Andy the Alligator when you're comparing numbers. Andy the Alligator likes to eat the bigger numbers, and we always read our sentences left to right. So this one would be the number is greater than, this one is less than, and then if we have our equal signs, they are equal. All right, does everyone know? Does everyone remember? Nice job, guys. Yay!